Yo, what's up guys? It's Mac and I'm back with another video. Today I have got the Indigo League of Legends semi-finals match for you guys. This is versus my friend Wilmar. I will leave the link to his channel in the description below. Um, Wilmar, aka the Miami Monfernos, has made it this far in the playoffs. Kind of, uh, um, kind of a Cinderella story actually. He didn't get to draft his team when everyone else did. He had to draft a little bit after, so... Um, he didn't get the greatest Pokemon, but he still got some pretty good ones. I think he joined a couple turns into the um, into the into the draft or something like that. But he has a pretty good team with Victini and Suicune and Mega Pinsir and Gligar and a lot of a lot of threats. If you go watch the team building video that I uploaded, you can see that I talked about his whole team and I actually predicted the entire six that he was going to bring here today. I predicted seven. Um, six and then there was another one that I thought maybe and that maybe was the Tauros and I specifically thought that the Tauros would be mixed and it would have like Fire Blast for my Skarmory because um, Tauros gets an actual good special move pool. It'd have like Fire Blast for my Skarmory and then it'd have like Earthquake for Mega Charizard and it'd be Scarfed and stuff like that so um, we uh, we're kind of mentally prepared for everything that he has on his team but we are just going to see how it goes. As you see from mine and if you watch the team builder video, I'm bringing the Keldeo, Skarmory, Arcanine, uh, Tornadus T, Charizard X, and the Shaman. The Shaman this week is different than every other week. I haven't brought a specially defensive Shaman yet, and this is the first time, and I'm really excited to be bringing it. Um, I think it does a number against his team and specifically checks the Suicune very, very well. But if I'm looking at his team, I think he either leads the Gligar um, or the Mega Pinsir and tries to get his. Uh, his mega off like as fast as he can but I feel like he's gonna lead the Gligar so I have a couple options as far as that goes I could lead the Skarmory I could lead my um, I could lead my uh, my Tornadus T I could just lead the Keldeo and I could just hit him um, but uh, let's let's just lead off and uh, see what see what I do so I, I, I end up leading Cragly Skarmory versus Buddy I'm not running taunt this week so I kind of have to leave I'm just gonna take rocks I'm just gonna kind of take it in the face uh, but now I scare him out I know that he's not gonna stay in so I'm just gonna go for a secret sword predicting the um, the Suicune switch in and I do hit him and I realize he is max spadef which is not normal normally if you are running Suicune you run max defense because you can call mind up and it'll 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 do the thing um, it'll it'll just kind of like fill in your special defense and uh, but yeah he is max but deaf so I switch into my Bonnie and he uh, he sees that there's not really much he can do I don't think he wants to take a choice specs seed flare or whatever I could have I just go for a leech seed to try to beat the Crocoon he's gonna switch into his mega pincer which I'm not too worried about um, he is gonna go for the swords dance uh, predicting my switch which was a good play but leech seed is gonna bring him down and it's gonna heal up Cragly a little bit too I know this close combat's gonna do little to zero so I'm just gonna sit in here and go for the drill peck which I have specifically for the mega pincer um, after the defense drop it's able to bring him down where the leech seed is able to kill him he goes into Victini and I don't really have a check for special Victini but if he was physical um, Arcanine is definitely the way to go, but we find out that he has special, and instead of going for Blue Flare, he goes for Thunderbolt. I guess being a more safe play because the switch into Maddie Thunderbolt has a chance to paralyze Maddie and probably does a little bit more than the Blue Flare does. But I am able to Morning Sun up, and then he goes into Massa Aqua, his Suicune for free, and I have to go back out into my Shaman. I think I've realized after. Um, the first time that he doesn't have Ice Beam, although maybe he just didn't want to take a Seed Flare. But here he goes for Calm Mind, and I guess right now we're going to figure out if he, have, if he has Ice Beam or not, and he doesn't. Um, I go for the Leech Seed again, thinking maybe he'll try me with the, uh, with the Ice Beam or the Icy Wind or something, and I will get some great, uh, recovery from the thing. Then I stay in, and I just go for Seed Flare, because I knew I could take anything from the, uh, uh, from the Alakazam, and I want to see how much it would do. The Alakazam switches out, predicting my switch, and goes into the uh, Victini. He goes for Blue Flare, which, as you see, does a decent amount of damage. However, I am able to Morning Sun all of this up. I need to continuously make sure that my Arcanine, and specifically my Shaman, are always healthy, because if my Shaman goes down, I have nothing for the Suicune, and he can set up on me and be a Crocoon and be mean. So I have to make sure that I'm able to stay alive with Bonnie and here he gets the burn uh, from Scald which is fine because we do have natural Kyrus every time we switch out it's no big DZ we just gonna heal that off and I'm gonna go for seed flare and that's gonna do a ton of damage um, I predicted him to stay in actually right there and he didn't but um 
So now the uh, the Alakazam is down to a low enough percentage where I believe I can kill him with an E-Speed from Arcanine, which is really, really, really good. Um, so he's going to go into the Victini, and again, I have, to, I have to go into my Arcanine once again uh, and take whatever this thing is going to throw at me. It gets kind of repetitive at this point because um, he doesn't go for any major predictions. I go for the safe switches every time, and it just gets kind of like the same thing. I could predict him to go... To, to double back into something but at the same time it's a lot easier for me to just morning sun up and a lot safer for me to just morning sun up every time so I'm going to go into Bonnie and this is where things change up a little bit I believe he goes for Calm Mind which is the same thing as normal um, I kind of want to go for Earth Power predicting the Victini but I end up going for Leech Seed um, also predicting the Victini and uh, he goes for Scald and does zero damage so he's going to uh, sit in I want to go for Earth Power right here and um, I decide to do it, and Earth Power is not enough to kill the Alakazam, but it, it's it's fine. He's at he's at four percent at this point. I want to stay in and kill it, but I also know that he's probably going to go for Psy Shock, and I don't have a very good defense investment. So I go into Arcanine, who has great defense in, in investment, and now I can finish it off with an E Speed if he does choose to stay in, which he did. Um, it was probably the safer play for me to go for uh, Morning Sun there. But I really wanted the payoff. And now he goes into Red Bull, which I assume is going to retaliate me. So I just switch into Cragly. And even after Rocks, and even at 50%, Cragly's like, what's a retaliate? Um, hello? That does literally zero. So uh, Cragly's going to stay in and take that. And then he's going to defog the Rocks away because I'm tired of these Rocks getting on my side of the field. Knock Off is going to do nothing. It knocks off my Shed Shell, which is fine. I only had Shed Shell because I thought he would bring the Magna Zone. And uh, the Magna Zone was not here, so I no longer needed my Shed Shell. So I just go for Stealth Rocks on his side. We're going to trade. And now it gets kind of weird. I want to defog because Rocks do more to my team than they do to his right now. Um, I think they're more crucial for me to get them away. Because I have I have three things that take at least 25% from Rocks. So I'm going to defog. And he's going to switch. And I'm going to go into Victini. And right here, I'm going to pause this for a second and, and explain what happened last turn. All right, so I'm going to... He doubles into Victini, I double into Keldeo. Okay, so at this point, my Keldeo is Spexed, right? But I think that he thinks it's Scarfed. So number one, I, I think that he'll switch out because he thinks it's Scarfed. Because if I'm Scarfed, I automatically outspeed him. Number two, I don't think he's Scarfed because even if he stays in and if he's not Scarfed, then he dies to a Scald at this point. I mean, he dies to a Scald from max HP, but he dies to a Scald at this point anyway. So I think that he is going to either stay in in Thunderbolt because we've already seen the Thunderbolt before and he'd probably predict the Arcanine switch or something. Um, then he'd go for the Thunderbolt or he would just leave and then I'd get a free Scald on anything on his team. And if you look at his team, there's nothing on his team that really wants to take a Spec Scald except for Suicune. And if I were to get the burn on Suicune, it would do a number and definitely help my chances in this battle. But I stay in, I go for the Scald because I predict him to stay in and I want to kill this Victini and he just goes for the Psychic and Little Pony is dead. Which kind of sucks, but then I go into Poncha and I can knock off anything on his team. He's going to go into the uh, Massa Aqua, the Suicune, and this is just grand because now it doesn't have leftovers anymore, which means I'm going to be winning this and I'm just going to U-turn out. It does literally nothing. That thing is so bulky. It's not even funny. I go into Bonnie as this thing Calm Minds up. I'm not sure why he keeps Calm Minding up knowing that I have Bonnie there. I guess he's trying to get a chance or trying to get a time where I don't. Um, switch in and so he can get to plus two or something but um i i end up right here going for the or, um, i went for the earth power on the first turn predicting the switch into the victini um now he is going to go into buddy the uh um the glider and me predicting the knockoff i go into exhibit um i don't really want to take that knockoff on shaman and this is a perfect time with leech seed on the uh um on the glider and with me having a bunch of defense evs this is the literal perfect time for me to start dragon dancing up and i get to plus one and then i take some health off of leech seed which is going to help me uh be able to uh to be able to one shot this thing because it's kind of hard and he actually has some attack EVs, as you can see by the fact that he does 46% to my uh, very bulky Charizard. And I, I get a crit. Um, I'm at plus two. The crit did not matter. I would have killed anyway after uh, Leech Seed, and it would have been actually better. It kind of hurts me that I got the crit. Um, then he goes into Massa Aqua, and he rests right away, which is kind of weird. He's asleep now, which allows me to Dragon Dance on his face. And he has to hope that he gets a bunch of Coal Mines, like two Coal Mines or something, by the time that I just kill him with Dragon Claw, and I believe I just have to be at plus four to kill him with Dragon Claw, which is where I'm at right now. Um, and then the rest of his team can't really do anything 
and he sleep talks and get rest and gets rest. That's unfortunate, but he only beat me the first time that we played because he sle he sl slept talked and got tailwind. So um, this was just kind of revenge for that, I guess. I go for the Dragon Claw and I take out the Suicune. He brings in Red Bull, which is going to get the Intimidate off to push me back to plus four, which is fine. I mean, that's fine. I'm still at the godly amounts of HP, and I go for the the Flare Blitz, just making sure that I can kill, and then the Dragon Claw. Finishing off the big teeny and that is going to be our battle. It was not that long um, There was a lot it Basically what the game was was the game was me micromanaging my walls So that they didn't go down and him having his offensive threats get slowly and slow uh, get slower and slower Wait, how do you say this? I'm trying to word this getting slowly whittled down there you go getting uh getting bit by bit like whittled down his offensive threats and the pitzer went down early to the drill peck which was clutch Cragley was clutch in this game um it went down to the uh to the drill peck early and then i was able to kill the alakazam with the e-speed which i specifically had e-speed on arcanine for that because i thought he'd run sash and i thought i'd hit him with something with some attack that would bring him down to sash and i'd have to return ko it so i have e-speed on the arcanine um, and then the special defensive shaman put in the most work, always stopping that Crocoon in its tracks, always. And I did a decent job playing with shaman and making sure that he didn't die. Um, but as as I said from the beginning, I'm not losing in the playoffs. I hope you guys are happy that uh, I was able to pull this one out and get revenge on one of our losses. I am extremely ecstatic that I was able to win this. I'm playing the championship actually tonight. This video is going to go up way, la way later than it should have. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to edit it and upload it as soon as I get done with this. <clears throat> and in the championship, we are going to play. One second, I need to cough. <coughs> okay, I didn't. I, I pressed the button to mute, and then it, like, didn't mute. Yeah, I, I messed up. But anyways, in the championship, we are playing Master Roshi. So I'm really, really excited for that. He is somebody that we tied earlier in the season due to schedule conflicts and... We had a little bit of time to play, and then he ended up stalling, so, um, n not like physically stalling, but his team was stall, so we didn't have enough time to finish it then, and then we were arguing about where we should go back, and then we never got to finish that battle, so it's like destiny that we are now facing in the championship, and I'm ready, I have prepped so much for that game, we're gonna play later tonight at like 8pm I think, so that's like 6 hours from now, I'm extremely excited. Um, thank you guys for watching this. I will have the championship up in the next couple days. Uh, keep on the lookout for your Respiro City Stoners being the Season 3 champs of the Indigo League of Legends. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.